Hi everybody. This tutorial is to create to show how to create a cosplay costume. Eloise Trancy. Uh, I'm making this for my daughter by repurposing clothing and fabric scraps and such um, and spending as little as possible to finish off the project. Okay, I figure we'd start with the shorts. They're uh, the tailored pant look of the cosplay or cosplay costume. Not the best picture in the world here, but it'll do for inspiration. Um, I've measured my daughter's waist um, down to about four inches below where she wants the pants, uh, the shorts to be, because we're going to turn them in and cuff them. And so what I'm going to, what I anticipate using for this part of the project will be um, just the measuring tape. Um, something to cut with, um, your marker, and when I'm finished cutting the pant legs off, I'll be using the seam ripper to open up the front part of the waist so that I can make a pleat and then re-sew that back down. And I haven't quite figured out yet how I'm going to um, disguise the excess or if I'm just going to cut, go ahead and cut it off um, or open it all the way up to a seam and then remove it and then re-sew it. But anyways, that's the plan so far. So, we'll mark each pant leg. Fabric pencil would probably be your preference. I have a crayon. And I'm not going to worry if I get this exact, because when I get to the point of actually making a permanent hem, I'll have her um, model it for me. And I'll show you what that'll look like after I make a little bit more progress. I will do the same thing to this side here. I'll finish opening this all the way up to the end so that I don't have to make another seam in the waistline. Then I have her put the pants on, or the shorts now, and I tuck them under about two and a half, about two inches longer than where she wants them because then we're going to fold them back up. So I will do that by hand. Okay, I won't win any awards for neatness here. This bottom edge should have probably been folded under before I did the initial stitch. Um, so I went ahead and searched it. And you can see them starting to take shape. In order to get rid of the excess here to make this smaller for her waist and to take up for the pleat, I'll go ahead and finish ripping out to the outside edge where there's already an end so that we, I don't have to cut into and uh, make another seam. We're pinning down the waistband in place and then I need to replace the little hook or button type thing. So I'm thinking about an inch and a quarter back from the edge so that would put it right about here. Not sure how it originally got put in, but my guess is that since it was a sharp, it just poked it right through. And then use the little backing to stabilize it. Hmm. I do wish I remembered which end was out on this little thing. Let's assume that it goes like that. And then we want to bend these down. That looks about right. Hmm. 
Okay. So I can finish pinning the rest of the waistline in place now so that I can sew it about to here. Then I'm going to trim this off, tuck it under, make it look like a Okay. So Gabby's trying on the shorts, so we'll see how they look. Come over here. You're all covered, right? Yeah. Okay, hurry. Stop right about there. Can you see that? Okay. So, anything you want fixed or are those going to work? They are perfect. Okay, come a little bit closer to the camera. So, see, that's we've boot. got our okay. obvious, they look like man pants, but they're like booty short man pants. Okay. We've got the little pleat, which I hacked down just a little bit, about an inch and a half, to make them look, well, like you here. So, I think that's it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so she has the shorts Yay. for the first part of the costume. Yay! And then hopefully we'll accomplish one more piece tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. Okay, today we're going to see if we can duplicate a vest ish. The vest that Gabby wants is going to be green. And we'll be using this as a pattern, but first I need to see exactly how high up this is supposed to go. And if we look at our if we look at our picture here, um, we want it to come down about this far, and then I'll have to make these come to a point. Okay, so and. And then we'll add a lapel here, so that should fill in that gap and make it a little bit higher. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. Are okay. I'm all done with you. Now I'm going to draw your pattern. Okay. So since I don't have one, we're using this. Copy. I'll trace the basic shape. And then when I'm finished, I will add a little bit more on the outside uh, for that sewing space. I'm sure there's a sewing word for that. Seam allowance, something like that. Anyways, in here we're going to make it a triangle. Okay, it doesn't look great, but I'm going to do exactly that to the other three pieces of this. So we've got the one piece, I'll do that with the second piece, and then there's a little curve here that they have for the neck. And I will draw those three out, cut them out with about a quarter to a half inch for seam allowance, and then we'll go from there. Um, they have their own. Really? Oh, are you going to help me take this part because we're recording? Sure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put the right sides together. And um, sew the pieces so that we'll have one. Okay. 
goes up. Hopefully I'm pinning this on in the right direction. Or I'm going to be very disappointed. So it should fold open like that. Let's go around the back. Okay. We'll say fold over here. And then we'll get the neck piece. Which will curve inward, so it goes over the shoulder and around the neck. So wrong sides together, no, right sides together. Alright. So I'll stitch these corners or these edges together and then we'll see where we're at. changed my mind on making a two-sided vest. I like the way that the edges were finishing up so I think the inside of the vest won't look so bad. And I'm just folding this over about a quarter inch. I'm doing a simple straight stitch. Okay. So we pin the two sides of the vest together so that it's in the right place, gets her where it's supposed to. And since this jacket is out of style, but the lapel is quite good, it is about perfect for the top part of the vest. So I'm going to get busy ripping seams, and you give me the vest so that I can stitch it together. All right. Yay! I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to straight stitch the collar to the collar of the vest. Here's the plan today. Today's kind of a crazy day, and I know when I'm in over my head. So, I'm taking this one back to school. Say hi, Gab. Hello. Okay. And it's been fun. this machine that I inherited, and then mistakenly got rid of my old machine, um, this one doesn't automatically, as far as I know, I have not been able to figure out how to do buttonholes. My old machine had a zipper foot, a buttonhole foot, all kinds of feet that did stuff that I didn't even know. Okay? But it was a really cheapy plastic thing, and so when I got this, you know, should have put the other one in the closet, but I didn't. So, we've got the top part of her, what's his name? Her Lois Stranky. Her Lois Stranky costume done. And this actually lifts up. It's square. It squares up really nice. In fact, when I have it around the waist. Um, but I need four buttonholes to put in here. And so when I take her back to school today, I'm going to go by the local alterations. Um, and I'm going to ask them if they can put on the buttons to look like this. All right, so I will take them the picture and the buttons. And oh, that way they'll know what it's supposed to look like, and maybe I'll even take you with me.